Good morning. Good afternoon. We are driving. I wonder where you can see. See from there. It is Saturday. We've been married for four weeks. On our way to beat ups and just looking at an apartment, going apartment shopping. He's driving, so I'm not gonna bug him. But we did see Barbershop 3 last night, the next cut, and it was good. I liked it a lot. I thought the President of the United States was um, in it. He wasn't. It was somebody else acting as him. So a little misleading. Did you say anything? He's driving. I don't want to accident. But yeah. Um, I like that Nicki Minaj was in it. I'm starting to become a Nicki Minaj fan. Slowly, I'm liking some of her songs. Well, I've always liked um, the Stupid Ho and the Roman Revenge song with Eminem. Watch ya. Yeah, so we're going to beat ups. He's gonna do the challenge today. Let's play. <laughs> I've already done it. <laughs> Did you finish it? I can't remember. Yeah, it like two minutes. Deep right. Was it super hot? Like, were you, was your mouth burning? All you beat ups out there, your challenge is a joke. <laughs> I am not impressed. Yeah, I guess he. I still have the t shirt. Is he really? You do the challenge, and then they make you buy the t shirt. I thought you. So I have to did, pay for the wings, and then I have to pay for the shirt. I thought you should, you should get the shirt. I shouldn't have to pay for anything. Yeah, you shouldn't. But if you finish it, you should not pay for the wings and not pay for the shirt. What's that guy who does all those challenges? Those, um. Food challenges. Furious Pete. Yeah, he doesn't have like to I pay for it. Yeah. Three quarters of a mile. Yeah, it was like thirty bucks. I gotta pay for the wings and then the shirt. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. If, you, if you do the, if you make the challenge, you should get it free. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I think they made it harder. Because people like me just did it like it was nothing. You should do it today. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you do it. They're regular hot wings. This is not gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen.
How would you like the movie last night? I thought it was pretty good. Could have been a little better. Yeah. Nice. You really hyped up this Barack Obama. He didn't show up. I really thought it was him. Because in the commercials, they actually make it look like him. But it wasn't. I don't remember what a barbershop is like. So. Um, the conversations in the movie don't feel very authentic. Yeah, so We've all been in a group of 20 people. It's not like each person takes a turn talking and they walk into the center of the room and give a whole speech. <laughs> that's, not how, that's not how people work. <laughs> it's true. Um, the movie theater was amazing. It's the kind where you, the seats recline. So who's the seat? Both of our seats didn't really recline fully back. I think you have to sit in the front row to do it. And then um, we ordered a milkshake and he ordered popcorn because you can order food while you're sitting down. Tell him about the milkshake. It was your milkshake. <laughs> there was an ice cream sandwich in my milkshake. I decided that when we have kids, I'm gonna like make milkshakes for my kids' friends and I'm gonna put ice cream sandwiches on them and be the coolest mom. Four kids are going to have diabetes. Not the type one. And during the opening, you see some hardware of their own. It's okay. Talk about the sign over there. Oh, I tried to video it, but it won't show. There's a sign for the special that says, buy one beer for the price of two and receive the second one absolutely free. Mike received his fourth silver slumber award. We asked the waitress about it, she said it was a joke. It's a bad joke. But, he said, probably drunk people fall for it, and they probably do. Yeah, I was like, huh? There's 300 TVs in here and no Red Sox game. Curry on it. Smart. It's not really lit here. I expected it to be filled with bandwagon Steph Curry fans. And I also have a question like, okay, so when we came in, they said there wasn't any seating, but there was bar seating. So we're at the we're at a table. She said there was seating. She said there was a wait for the seating. Why is this the bar seating? But it's like seating. Probably have to be 21. They didn't even check our IDs. I just don't understand. Thank you. Happy Sunday. Where are we? No one else. No one else. This morning was church. It was good. Good sermon about Obadiah. And we're here about to hike slash go to the beach. On my way. What? This is not so hard. Yeah. Oh. Where are we, baby? We're going to be somewhere. The rocks that we're going to go try now. Wait, where, where are we? Who made you pick this place? Yelp. <laughs> You're not from here. Who do I know? You've actually been here for two years. Still not from here.
were lost in the woods. I had to fend off a few mountain lions already. There's flies everywhere. Is it on? Oh, it's on. Silence. It's peaceful. We're... The same 12 flies have been following us since we started. So. At this point, we're mostly just filming because. We're lost and we're just waiting for someone to find us. So in 10 years, if someone finds this video, please put it on YouTube for us. It's a whole group of kids coming out. We might have to eat one of them, just fry. So we're going to do a little interview. If you were camping here at night, what would be the last animal you'd want to see in the woods? First of all, I wouldn't be camping here. Why is that? Because <laughs> I don't camp. Unless Why not? it's in a... Yes, unless it's in a... in a cabin. That's not camping. Okay, do you camp? I'm the interviewer. <laughs> You're answering my questions. <laughs> Switch it around. Let's say you were stranded here overnight. What would be the three items you would want with you? Well, first of all, insulin or I die. But you know what? I almost don't want insulin because I don't want to live through camping here. This is a very dark interview. <laughs> Most people would say like, oh, I want my iPod and one of my friends and a phone. But no. <laughs> well, I need insulin to live. <laughs> 